actually worked. <laughs> Hi folks, I'm Bob Schultz, physical therapist. Brad Heineck, physical therapist. Together we are the most famous physical therapist on the internet. And our opinion, of course, Bob. Here we are in Minnesota, mm -hmm. and uh, we don't have any snow, Brad. Yeah, it's, it's middle of uh, January, and uh, we've yet to have a substantial snowfall, but crazy, it's coming. Crazy, crazy. It's coming. It's coming. So today we're going to talk about how to shovel snow, even though we don't have any to show you. The easiest and fastest way, and uh, aching back no more. I mean, we're trying to protect your back while you're shoveling, because you can definitely hurt it. And this is one of the most ingenious things I've seen that you can just make up at home. You know, if you have some rope, uh, we're going to show you something that's going to be a step up from that. Yeah. And it's very easy. You don't have to be mechanically inclined to do it. It's just a matter of showing you. Yep, and uh, it's very inexpensive, too. Right. You're just heating two parts, and, and they're both... Uh, Nothing to, uh, is going to break the bank on that. By the way. Oh, yes, Bob. They're coming in droves. Yeah. If you are new to our channel, please take a second to subscribe to us. We provide videos how to stay healthy, fit, pain-free, and we right. upload every day. Yep. Also, go over to Facebook and like us because Brad and I, as children, were not liked. Even though I'd go and shovel people's driveways for them, they still wouldn't like me. Yeah. And I we're can, trying to turn all that way around. You probably threw the snow right in their window or oh, something. Oh, well, that, uh, we won't talk about that. But. <laughs> okay, show snow shoveling. One of the easiest way to get a sore back, wouldn't you say, Bob? It is. Particularly yep. if you got some heavy snow, the snow's deep, whatever. But the mechanics, body mechanics, you know, from a therapist's point of view, it's hard to shovel snow with good body mechanics. It is. Particularly if you're in a hurry. You know, things just get all wiped out. I mean, you, they have a nice handle here, and typically people will grab it here. Yeah. But to get to the, to the ground where you want to scrape that snow, you got to do this. Right. And we just did some videos on Nockamson's, uh, you know, yep. studies on how much pressure from here to here really increases the pressure on the discs. And then you lift the snow, and you, you usually twist. twist. So. so we've got flexion, a lot of pressure. We got snow on the end of a yep. lever arm. Right. We're really modifying the weight, and then we twist it. It was. It's almost like we created a device to hurt your back. Right. And this was it. Yeah. And, yeah. And then do it in a hurry so you can get to work. Well, on and time. then also you're not warmed up. You know, right. You yeah. Know, you're you're up in the morning at five o'clock. It's like, oh, I got to shovel the snow. Yeah. You, you don't want to get hollered at by your wife. So we're going to help you with all this. Yeah. But first off, you're going to show if you're going to just use good body mechanics, right. right? So if you have your normal shovel here, first of all, you're going to use more leg right. and try to lift. But he's also, during this whole time, he's ah. trying to keep his back straight. Right. So look at this now. Go ahead, Brad. Here's normal. Yeah. But I'm going to try and go, go like, like that. This. There you go. And then work yep. like that with a straight back. I'm telling you, Bob, I don't shovel like that if I'm in a hurry, you know? Yeah, well, it's ideally, really hard to. ideally, what I try to do, Brad, is I try to shovel and go forward even sure. as much as possible. Yeah. Um, the other thing they mentioned is, you know, if, if, you, if you're getting a lot of snowfall, I, I know you hate to do this, but you should go out there a couple times instead right. of waiting until it's up to here. Right. If, I mean, if you get an eight inch snowfall, come and shovel it when it's four, four inches, inches deep and, and do another four. Yeah. Or, you know, you just have to, that mean that might mean you lose some sleep because you may have to go to 10 o'clock at night, shovel it. You're going to get a good workout though, right. but you're not going to hurt your back. Yeah. Uh, so. You got to be tough, you know, when you yeah. live in that kind of situation. But just wait, we got some really cool stuff coming up here. Don't, don't leave us here yet. Now, this is the coolest thing. I yeah. wish I invented it, but I didn't. But this device here is something new. You take your shovel, let's see if we can get a close-up on this because this is important. You need to go to the hardware store and get a hose clamp. And you can see, by the way, how much Brad shovels. Now, this is my brand new, <laughs> I, I wish I would have brought my old shovel because it's wore off like down to here and it's right. no Dollar nineteen for this hose clamp. Is it focused, Lonnie? Can you show this side of it? That shows sure. the better side yeah. of the hose well, clamp. I, I want to show the price tag. Button. Oh, okay. <laughs> You've got some of those? Hose clamps? Oh, Lonnie, yeah, the yeah farm Lonnie's got some at the farm, she yeah. said. But it's important that you, you put a distance in here about an inch, and the screw has to be on the bottom side of the shovel. And then you tighten it down good and tight so it doesn't move. All right. And now the next phase. So this is the stretch out strap. We have this down below. Normally this is used for stretching your body. Right, we love them for yeah. stretching your legs, uh, arms. Uh, we use them for a number of things. But in, now, therapy, in the therapeutic world, but now we're going to use it to ergonomically correct this shovel yep. so you, you can shovel literally with a straight back. Everything we talked about is yep. going to be eliminated. First thing you need to do, 
Now on these stretch out straps, every, about every six inches there's a loop. Okay, you go to one end, you take that loop, and you take the other end, and you put it right through there. Thread the needle. Thread the needle right through there, and then you've made a big adjustable loop. A big lasso. Yeah, lasso, so you're gonna lasso okay. your shovel. Can you get down here, Lonnie, or should we lift it up? There we go. So you're gonna just slide that down, it's gonna be like a slip knot. Get that in there. And th this is why you have to have the, the screw, the bump part there, because that bump is going to... That holds things in place. Otherwise, this will slip right up the handle. We sure. must lock it there. And that's a really simple and easy way to do it. Now, this we should do. Can you zoom in on this, Lonnie? This is a, Instead of trying to figure out how to do a knot, a slip knot, a square knot, if you're a good knot tire, you could do this with rope. Uh, this makes it really easy. You just take the end of the loop, go through the handle from the top side down, and then go around it, and it locks right in, and you're done. <laughs> kind of scared me there. There you go. Okay, now you're going to say, well, what good does that do? Well, Brad's not going to leave you hanging here. Grab He's going to demonstrate. Here. Now, this works really handy. You could just go ahead and grab around here like this, but you're going to find your hands are going to get tired. You got gloves on, and it's going to slip up there. But here, let's just show the basic concept. Now I can stand with a straight back. Right. I can shovel. shovel the snow, lift it up with this hand, and throw. You can also flip it. You can flip sure. it. Yeah, Watch without, out, Bob. I, I don't without, want to flip yeah. you in the face. Without, wanna... without really turning your back much. Right. And so. then, you know, if you've got a lot of snow, you're going to use your legs as well. But you're going to keep the back straight. So you can actually do some weightlifting with good body mechanics and get a workout safely while you're shoveling. Sure. It's a good idea. But the idea with the loops is, is you can go like this, put your hand right through there, and if you've got a glove on, it doesn't matter if your hand slipped because it locks right in. Sure. So I'm just going to go like this. Now I don't even have to grasp. It's all, or if you have arthritic hands, you don't have to grasp. It's going to be really handy as far as that goes. And then you're going to work your shoveling. You can push it forward. You could do it this way as well, but it works better straight ahead. Oops, I'm sorry, Lonnie. We've got to get in there so people and can see what it. What we found, too, over. is what is interesting is because Brad and I are different body shapes, yep. um, I'm actually in the fourth loop, right. and he, you were in the third loop. Is that how it works? I'm, a, I'm, I'm in the third loop, and that gives me good ergonomics. Yes. Why don't you try it in the third loop so, once? So, yeah, there's the third loop. For me, the third loop puts me down too far. Look where I'm at right now. Well, let go of the shovel, Bob. There. Well, I know, but still. Right, I'm, he's I'm, too low. I, I'm too low. This is too low for me. I don't want to be bent over this much. So I got to go up one. Again, it has to do with my height and my short arms. So yeah, I, I went like this, and, and now look at this. Right. Tall and proud. Right. Yeah. So it, it, it fit, you know, if you got a, a short member in the family or a tall member, it'll work for any, uh, any body height. It's an ergonomic. Uh, Beautiful thing yeah, get for your shoveling. Little get your kids out there doing some work for once. You know, that's what you want to do. Oh, uh, yeah. So, All right. Anything else, Brad, you want to cover? Or? No, well, the other thing I do want to mention is we're going to have another video out on how to do a proper warm-up. Because if you get up in a cold morning and you just go right out and start shoveling, yeah. you're at risk for back injury no matter how you work it. We're not only going to show you how to warm up, but we're going to show you what you do throughout while you're shoveling even. You might want to do a couple stretches, you know, mid-shovel. Mid right. And, and yeah, you definitely want to warm up for your heart, too. you got to remember, heart attacks are very common with sh shoveling because of the cold and the uh, exertion, right. you know, combined. Right. So, so we're taking this from one end to the other to keep you sh safe out there in the cold weather and that heavy snow. Welcome to beautiful, balmy Minnesota. This is the this is great living here. Isn't this it, is what life is all about. Here in baby. Wisconsin and Minnesota. This is mm. beautiful weather. Why would you want to be in California? <laughs> anyway, why don't you show how this strap thing works, Brad? Right now, uh, this really saves your back. I'm not bending over, and I can throw the snow where I want. Yeah, he's tossing that thing at ten feet. Oh yeah, perfect control. Now we have some other videos on how you can actually build this device and it works well and it's easy and the cost is not much. You don't even have to buy a new shovel. Use the same shovel you have. But Bob, I can't, I hope we get another foot of snow. This is I'm the, waiting for another foot of snow, You know Bob. what, this is the best way to save your back is just have Brad do it. Yeah, yeah. I, I won't even ask my wife to go out and do it with this. Okay. Life is good.